Hey guys, this is gonna be a quick episode just to talk about how to install edge banding. So to get started with edge banding, you wanna first of all, plug in your iron, take it from your wife, make sure she doesn't know, and set it to max. I don't even know why there's any other settings on this thing. It's max or nothing. Max power. Then we're gonna take our piece of plywood. In this case, this edge is gonna get edge banded. I put a little mark here underneath just to indicate so I don't forget. And we're gonna put it into some kind of holding device. In this case, it's gonna be my nice vise. Clamp her down, make sure she's good. And then we're gonna take our edge banding and we're gonna cut it to length. So I just stretch it out over the top, leaving about a quarter inch on either side and use some scissors to cut it off. Don't worry, my assistant will pick that up later. So then we're gonna lay it on top. Again, about a quarter inch on either side. And we're just gonna grab the iron, which is now fully heated. And we're just gonna start pressing from one side to the other, going at about uh, an inch a second, half an inch a second, somewhere in there. And we're gonna make our way all the way to the edge, making sure to keep this flat, firm pressure and trying to keep the edge banding aligned along the edge so there's an equal overlap on both sides. Now, as we work our way back, we're gonna grab this block, which is just gonna be a press block. So we're gonna make sure the glue is melted. I can see that it is. And I'm gonna use this block to push down as I'm now pushing down on the iron and the block and we're working our way back to where we started. This is gonna give us a really nice bond with the glue to the wood. And then just a few more strokes, just to make sure that it's fully pressed as it cures and cools down. And that should be it. So now there's a raised edge on both the front and back of this piece. And we're gonna bring that over to the router table and flush trim those edges. So over at the router table, I have my flush trim bit installed in my router and it's sticking up about an eighth of an inch. The bearing is obviously much higher. That'll ride against this part of the wood. Now, just a tip, what you wanna do is lock your spindle and grab your Allen key and tighten down this bearing every time. See, that was already kinda of loose. You don't want to have happen what happened to me the bearing popped off and got chewed up and just scared the living piss out of me. So always check your bearings for tightness. Now we're going to install this in the table and we can go ahead and trim up our edge banding edge. So that's left us with a really flush edge, but it is still a bit of a sharp corner. So the last thing to do is just hit it really fast with a sanding block. Both sides. So as you can see, our final result, we're left with nearly a seamless, invisible edge. Looks pretty damn good to me. So that's about it for this one. And as always, thanks for watching.